is up welcome to marco's modern life it's your boy mar we're back with another video thank you for tuning in those of you who watched yesterday know we went and picked up the air jordan 14 winterized aka archeo brown very nice sneaker i definitely wanted to sit down and take another look at the shoe because it is a shoe that i was excited for i was hoping that i could hit and i was so happy that i could take a w on this shoe and also i saw a lot of people took w's looks like um i know these were low-key kind of limited from from what i'm seeing and what i'm hearing but i know some people who wanted the shoe left comments yesterday they were able to hit i know a couple of my friends hit so it's it's looking like a lot of people actually got to hit this shoe i don't think resale is crazy or anything like that so i think this is something that is really going to people who actually want to wear it which is great so yeah so definitely we just wanted to take another look at this so make sure like the video that helps us get out in the algorithm so we can grow and live out our dreams also if you're in a sneaker content please sub to the channel hit the notification bell so you can get notified when we drop videos leave a comment let me know how you feel about these what you're looking forward to in the future coming up this month let me know right so like we said let's take a look here we have the air jordan 14 retro se archeo brown multicolor that's the official colorway retail on these they smacked us over the head 210 dollars for this i guess it's because it has the winterized materials things like that I'm not gonna be too mad because the material is pretty good. But yeah, so that's the official colorway. Let's take a look at the label so you can see that. And the box, they switched it up. So it's a regular Jordan 13, 14 box, but it's in black with that red jump man. I thought that was a nice touch. I like when they switch the box up. It's just a cool thing that they do. Red on the bottom as well. Open the box, you see you got the black paper. Then you've got the double wraps with the white paper. And there we have the shoe. And as soon as you open the box, the smell hits you. I love it. It's got a real good smell to these. We're gonna sit this the down. The colorway is really nice. It's a nice colorway. I really like the materials that they used. I, it's like a Nubuck suede. It's really soft. And I guess this is supposed to be waterproof as well or water resistant, maybe not proof, but resistant. But it's really nice. Take a look there. We got the red hits on the bottom, on the 14 and the jump man. We got the, I like to do that, the carbon fiber right there with the red jump man. Then we got the white. Look at the traction on the bottom. We all know the 14s were modeled off of uh, his Ferrari. So you can see it's got that sporty look. It's got the little Ferrari Jordan logo right there in that red. Very nice red around there. You see the tire tread on the back and it's got the red on there as well with the red jump man these are just nice the more i look at this the i said the 14s weren't my favorite silhouette but the more i look at this shoe and this model the more i like it, it these are just really nice really nice also on the tips we got the jump mans on the the lace tips with the silver just nice, you can really see the material. And this brown right here is really nice going around the midsole. It's like a chocolate brown. It's really, really nice. You see, we got the red laces in the shoe. That's what they come with. We got the black jump man right there. Red Jordan there. Really nice, really nice shoe. I'm really digging these, really like them. Like I said yesterday, I'm probably gonna put the black laces in. That's just more my style. So I think I'm gonna put the black laces in. The red, it, it does pop, but I want, you know, it's a winter shoe. I'm gonna be rocking it in the winter, the fall. I just want it to be more sleek. So I'm definitely gonna put the black laces in there. But yeah, I like that they gave us options. I like that they're giving us more options with laces. So that's really nice. But yeah, it's a dope shoe. Let me pull the other, the other one. shoe. It also has good quality. I'm not seeing any issues. Not a lot of glue stains or anything like that. Yeah, so I, I'm very happy with the quality of this shoe. And I guess, you know, for us paying, you know, an extra $20, $210, I we should expect to have good materials, good quality, but we know how Jordan brand can be. But they did their thing with these. The last couple releases, I really feel like they've done a good job with the releases because the uh, Moonlight Oreo 5s, I was very happy with my pair of those and I'm very happy with these as well. But these are just nice, it's a nice shoe. This is something like, I'm going to wear it a lot this winter. 
I really, I'm excited to put them on. I'm probably going to wear them pretty soon, actually. But yeah, it's a nice shoe. So should you pay resale for this shoe? It, I don't even know if it's sitting. I haven't really checked StockX or anything to see prices or I haven't checked online to see if the shoe is sitting. So I'm honestly not 100% sure at the time of making this video. But I would say retail being 210, if you want this shoe, I say yes, it's worth going for it, even if you have to pay that resale. Now, I wouldn't pay more than, personally, I wouldn't pay more than 200 40 50 dollars for it which you know 210 i think i paid like 223 after tax something like that so i would pay an extra 30 to 40 dollars at the most for this shoe the most i would pay if you're looking for resales like 250 now will this shoe go up over time if you're looking to resell i think so i think it will go up over time so if you hold on to this shoe it might be a pretty long hold six months to a year but i think eventually we'll see these going 300 to 350 if we could get some hype behind it you know because it is that mocha it's that brown color so you know when we think of that we think of travis scott so maybe we'll build some hype or see a celebrity wearing these they might shoot to the moon you never know but i definitely think in time this will be 300 350 range but the materials on it are really nice it's really nice and i'm hearing they were more limited than we thought so resale may go up so if you if you're trying to get a pair I say go for it now before the price starts to go up because these are nice, really nice. The quality is nice, the colorway is nice, materials really nice. That brown, it's a really nice brown. Spare laces, like I said, definitely want to go with the black. And the inside, see, we got the red in the inside, but what's that? The white jump man. It's just nice. Let me actually, I want to, let me pull it up. I kind of want to see what resale is right now. I'm interested to see what these are going for right now. Let's see. Do I have StockX on here? Yeah, okay. Well, <laughs> okay, so these are actually going for a little more than I thought they would be. So my size 13 right now, the lowest ask is 269, highest bid 245. The last pair that sold was 269. So... I don't know. Maybe average sale price is 266. Okay. Um, but that's selling through StockX. So when you sell through StockX, you gotta think about you're paying fees and stuff like that. So you sell for 260, you might get 220, 230. So buy local. <laughs> that's what I would say. If you can find someone buy local, you could buy 240, 250, and still, you know, save you some money. And then the person selling it, they're gonna get more money because they don't have to pay fees and stuff. So yeah. I say go for them. I say they are worth resell to pay. That's if you want to pay resell to cop the shoe because you missed out and you want to wear it. I say I would pay $240, $250 for this shoe now knowing what the quality is. It's just, it's really soft. It's got the, the back stroke motion on there. I mean, it's, it's got the back stroke. It's just really soft, really good materials. Yeah, I, I, I just really like the shoe. Yeah, so I'm also, I'm looking forward, I'm hoping I can get these Air Jordan 3 Pine Greens that drop later this month. I don't think there's really anything else that I want other than that this month, but definitely going to go after those. Glad I could get these because these were on my radar. I had to have them, so I'm glad I could hit for retail. Retail or bust. It's, it's just a very, very nice shoe. Very good shoe. Yeah, so that's all we had. I just wanted to take another look at the Air Jordan 14 Winter Rise, AKA, I'm probably saying it wrong, but Archeo Brown or K.O. Brown, however you want to say it. But yeah, it's a nice shoe. These are nice shoes. A little thumbnail action. Make sure the shoe's in the shot. Let's do that. I know we gotta get the thumbnail. Yeah, so that's all we got today. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Like I always say, make sure to like the video that helps us get out, out in the algorithm so we can continue to grow, live out our dreams. Sub to the channel if you're in a dope sneaker content from a true sneaker head, because we're gonna keep putting these videos out, trying to get more consistent. I've been taking L's. Hopefully we can get the W's going again so I can get more consistent with the content. Leave a comment. I like to interact with you guys. Let me know how you feel about this shoe. If you're looking forward 
to the pine greens coming up soon. Just leave a comment, let me know how you feel. But that's all we got, taking another look at the Air Jordan 14 Winterized. It's your boy Mar checking out. Stay blessed, live your life, peace.